Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher, and John Duell is here, which means you're going to take me down that journey and give me new thoughts on a new life, right? Yeah, once again, we have new things for you to do. I know it. I don't know, but it looks like a bunch of old stuff. It is old, and uh, the, the important thing is it's going to be disposed of correctly. Unlike how I've dealt with some of Apparently, it over the time. Apparently, what I learned, yeah. I know. I'm looking at yeah. this stuff, and I'm feeling kind of guilty because it's, it's uh, not where it's supposed to be, I think. Well, this material really shouldn't go in your trash. Some of it's against the law to put in the trash in your green can. So I got to be real careful what I confess in this segment. Well, I'm not an officer <laughs> of the law, so but you you, uh, you really have new options now, new opportunities because the city and Public Works is operating a new household hazardous waste and electronics recycling collection facility. Where is that? It's right in the industrial park uh, off Azalea Garden Road where waste management has its headquarters, uh, 1176 Pine Ridge Road. Okay, so if you go down, what, Azalea, Princess Anne? Yeah, uh, well, Princess Anne or Virginia Beach Boulevard, okay. turn on Azalea Garden Road, and then you turn on Village Avenue, and off, okay, that's off, right. off Village. A lot of people know it from where the uh, ballpark is, the uh, Azalea Little League. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, so, because if you don't know what to do with it, and it's still sitting in your garage, before you put it either in your green cart right. or blue cart, take it there. Right, because uh, chances are it is on the list of the things we accept. Now, you can always go to the website, NorfolkTrash.org, and you'll be able to see all the list of the different things. But we've brought some samples today to show you the kinds of things that we're accepting, things that are household hazardous waste, basically products that would be harmful to you, harmful to the environment, uh, are toxic, could, uh, are flammable. Um, those kinds of things should not be going in your trash. Okay, I'm going to zero right in on this one because I had the fire department on a few weeks ago and I confessed to them, so I must be okay, that I got rid of mine because when I was cleaning out my laundry room, it was all dusty, gross, and it was rather old. Right. They said, good move. Right. I didn't tell them how I did it. Though. Right, right. No, those, these are a good example of the kinds of pressurized containers, uh, small propane tanks uh, also are uh, not to be put in your trash because they're pressurized. In the trucks, the, tr the waste trucks, these things get compressed, and if they explode, that can be real bad problems for the collector and for the, for the truck. Yeah. So if we take that over to the e-waste, e yeah. electric HHW waste. HHW and e-waste facility. I'm glad yeah. you got it down, Pat. That's right. Then we don't have to worry about it. Yes. Okay. This is, okay, you empty this? Well, you don't empty it. What we want people to do is take it in their original containers if possible. Okay. If not, have knowledge of what, was in, what it was. If, like, for example, if this gets put into a different container or if this gets put into a different container, you have to tell the collector, you, you know, what was it? Um, and if you pass it to somebody else to take them, then you also need to do that. So we're really not dealing with the plastic. No. It's, the pr it's what's yeah, inside. Exactly. Uh, all these materials, you know, gasoline, uh, paints, toxins, pesticides, solvents, those types of things. Typically, you keep under your uh, sink or mm -hmm. out in your garage, away from children. Those are the kinds of things you want to worry about. And before you throw them in the trash, take. So, what's wrong bringing. with latex paint? Well, latex paint actually will get recycled. And latex paint is one of those things that if you have a little amount in your can and you let it dry thoroughly, uh -huh. you can throw it in the regular trash because it is not toxic. Oh, but we okay. will take it. But. You know, again, if you don't really know, right, you may not know if it's it latex or if it's oil based, but you know, we, we'll take it. Okay. Now over here, this looks like my my wife would say this is a perfectly good monitor. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's functional. I think the cord's been cut off. So, oh yeah. Yeah. So all, all these things have been brought to us already, and my hunch is that they're not operational. There's, you know, the owners probably used them up until they were they were gone and didn't want to repair them. There are companies that safely recycle a lot of the materials that are in these uh, components. And uh, computers and all the peripheral ma material that goes with it, the printers, the wires, um, will all get accepted at this facility. Okay, so that way, again, you don't have to, we don't have to worry about it. Just give it to you. Right. Now, when you talk about recycling, what do you mean when it comes to these kind of products? Will I see this toaster again? Well, they'll, they'll gut it. They'll take, they'll take it apart. 
If it happens to be operational, they may refurbish it, but chances are they'll mostly take the plastics out and separate the plastic parts of it, the hard plastic. So it gets melted down and becomes well, pellets it'll be, and it goes it, off someplace else. Exactly. It'll get recycled as plastic. But there's uh, valuable metals in there. There's wiring, copper, um, you know, all kinds of things that they will take and, and market as raw material, as secondary materials for produ production again. So yeah, uh, those things will get made into other materials. John, I have to tell you, I see nothing wrong with this camera How at do you all. Know? Because I have this camera uh, okay. at home with one of these guys in it. Yep. So you're telling me I can't just, it's a little tiny battery. Inside that battery are chemicals that, when burned, are nasty for the environment. And so if it gets quantity. messed up with something that goes to the incinerator, it could really mess things right. up. If they get, especially if they get wet. So we want you to take those. Uh, the rechargeable batteries, there's a lot of rechargeable batteries that you're using now in your products. Uh, the button batteries, um, these p packs that get used inside some of your uh, uh, products, mm -hmm. um, the cell phones, the uh, uh, for, for uh, uh, tools, those kinds of things. So and then we have I, compact fluorescence. Too. I guess the bottom line is instead of having the discussion in the middle of the kitchen floor, what should I do, what cart should I put in, if you don't know, just bring it over. Well, bring it or call. You know, yeah. you can call ahead. Uh, phone number? 441-5813. Okay, walk me to where it is again. Okay, off Azalea Garden Road in the Industrial Park near the Azalea Little League, 1176 Pine Ridge Road. Because you know what? I got every bit of this at my and house. And only five gallons or 75 pounds per trip because we don't want you loading your car up with too much stuff. Um, okay. Could be dangerous. Also, be careful putting it into the car, making sure there's no bugs and spiders in there because if it's been sitting in your garage a long time, it's it could be a problem. It. And then you'll also help take it we out. We will help you take it out. We have folks there that are doing a great job getting the stuff out of your cars. John, thank you. I, can, I know you can always take care of the clutter in my house. I appreciate it. We'll that. help. And you. I've learned a lot. All right, good. Appreciate it. When we come back, we're going to be talking about a whole new.